Welcome to security testing module where we are going to use Snake.io testing solution to understand and apply DevSecOps mindset in our projects. This module is going to be divided into three main sections. First, we will understand and try to better feel what actually DevSecOps is about. Then we will jump into Snake Open Source to perform software composition analysis in our applications. Then to use Snake Code to perform static application security testing. So what is the DevSecOps about? It is about extending the DevOps approach with additional activities. So if you think about DevOps, you may think of continuous integration cycle where you merge your code to central repository, then it gets built and tested. And those cycles happen every time there is a new change by a developer implementing some features or bug fixing. The next steps, that depending on if we are doing continuous delivery or continuous deployment, might be deploying to some staging. And in case of continuous delivery, we may have some additional manual verification and deploy to production. In continuous deployment, everything is automated, even the deployment to production. So this is the 101 for DevOps landscape. But when we think about security testing, traditionally, when the application is developed and almost ready to go to production, at this final stage, there might be some testing activities with the focus on security. It may be some penetration testing. It may be some other way of assuring that the application is safe in terms of the security. What DevSecOps is trying to facilitate is so-called shift left mindset. Instead of running security tests at the very end, very right side of this process, we are trying to move security testing left side closer to the development cycle by developers themselves. What it actually means, this gives us faster delivery because, you know, if we discover security issue far away from the development, it will require a lot of effort to mitigate those issues. Naturally, it reduces costs of development and provides security as a feature. So how technically this can be implemented in our projects. Also, if you think about shift left, we are not only focusing on this CICD cycle on some central machine, but also your local dev environment can be security as a feature enabled with different tools. And in this presentation, in this module, we are going to learn how to use SNCC platform to facilitate security testing on the local development environment as well as CICD environments. Not only that, but also we can test our dependencies via Git repository integration to know what open source, usually open source dependency, dependencies are used in our project. So there are different touch points that our DevSecOps activities can be implemented in. When we look again at this DevOps pipeline, let's say it, we will have security gate after our continuous integration is supposed to push the code and changes to continuous delivery or continuous deployment. But once it gets there, we can also monitor security when it is in production with proper monitoring tools. What tools SNCC platform provides us to facilitate DevSecOps in every stage of our development journey. On your local machine, you can use tools like SNCC open source, SNCC code. The same can be integrated into Git repositories based on or implemented on GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, Bitbucket to execute those checks um, on that level. Then you may have SNCC open source, SNCC code, SNCC container, SNCC IAC, and on production, you may also use SNCC cloud, SNCC container, SNCC IAC, which is infrastructure as code. In modern development, this is very often utilized to use code to manage your infrastructure during development. Let's start with software supply and chain security. Every application can be 
decomposed in some pieces or some categories of code that contributes to the entire system. Not all applications are utilizing infrastructure as code or containers, which is at the bottom of this stack, but for sure you have some open source code in your application alongside with your custom code, which is application specific. So each of these categories may contain different security issues, different security risks. So with DevSecOps, you can actually monitor and try to assess the security profile of each of those parts of your system. And it's worth to mention that a vast majority of the code base nowadays is usually open source. So it is extremely necessary to make sure that your dependencies are free of risks and vulnerabilities. And Snake open source is a tool that we can use to monitor those dependencies. It is similar to Dependabot or NPM Audit, but it's actually part of entire ecosystem of SNCC tools. SNCC code is a solution that can monitor risks and vulnerabilities and potential issues in our custom code using some sophisticated artificial intelligence. Going further, you can use SNCC container to manage the security profile of your containers, as well as SNCC infrastructure as code to add additional layer of security to your system on this layer below, below containers and other categories of code.